Hey everyone, today I'm making chipotle chicken thighs and I want to bring you along and show you how I do that. Today I'm doubling the recipe, so I've got two packs of boneless skinless chicken thighs here that I got from Aldi at 30% off and I've got chipotles and adobo sauce. You'll find those over with like all the taco stuff in the grocery store. We've got salt, coriander, cumin, garlic powder, and olive oil. So you're just going to start by mixing all these ingredients together. They're just a marinade. You got your oil and all your spices. Um, I had really never used coriander a lot before this recipe, but I really think it adds so much to the dish. Coriander is actually the seeds of cilantro just ground up. And then these chipotles are smoked peppers and they are in like a sauce and they just add such a smoky, a little bit of heat to this chicken and just makes it so, so good. So you're just going to mix all that stuff up really good and then you're going to open up your chicken and you're going to kind of unroll these. They have them kind of folded up in there. You want to unroll them so that you can get that marinated in all the little pieces of the chicken and it can flavor it really good. You're going to want to marinate this for about an hour or two, at least one hour. I, sometimes I'll do it for a couple more hours if I have extra time. You can put it in the fridge for a couple hours and then just get it out before you're getting ready to cook it so it can kind of warm up just a little bit. So I'm going to use two of my iron skillets to cook this in today so that I can get it cooked quickly since it's a double batch. My youngest doesn't, she's very sensitive to spices and so I'm doing hers with just salt. It's not been marinating the chipotles. It's not super spicy but it does have a little bit of a heat to it and she just doesn't care for that. So I'm just doing her one plain there and then I will be cooking the rest of them up for us. And you want to cook them probably about four minutes on each side. I, I try to get them like really good and browned on either side. And then what I like to do is... um put them in the oven for just 10 minutes or so. I put mine for about 300 degrees. That way I make sure the inside of those thighs has gotten really done because sometimes some parts of it are thicker than other parts. And I'm also going to be cooking some rice. We really like this with rice. So I've got white rice and water and butter and some salt there. I like to get mine boiling and let it boil for a couple minutes uncovered. And this seems to help with it not boiling over later when I put the lid on. So I will get that on going on a bowl and I will let it boil for about two minutes. Then I'll put the lid on, turn it down, and I'm going to cook it for about 20 minutes. I really love cooking with iron skillets, but you do have to watch because they will often just continue to get hotter and hotter. So you kind of want to turn them down a little bit as they are heating up quite a bit and just make sure that everything doesn't overcook too much. One thing I really love about chicken thighs is they're a little bit more of a fattier cut of meat and you don't have to worry about them drying out as quickly and so I really like that. I'm just going to finish getting these all cooked up. I'm going to put them in my pan there and stick them in the oven for about 10 minutes or so. Once 10 minutes is up, Probably just turn the oven off and leave them in there until we get ready to eat. And we like to eat cheese with ours, so we're grating up some cheese here. I really like Monterey Jack cheese, but you can use whatever you want. We just kind of use the fixins like we would for tacos, so we're going to have um, lettuce and stuff with them. My rice is done, so I'm just going to kind of fluff that up with a fork. I'm going to add a little bit more butter to it. Get that all mixed in and then we are just about ready to eat. So this is what everything looks like. We've got the chicken. Kind of want to cut those into strips. Some people like to eat them like tacos with cheese and stuff on them. I like to make mine just a plate or a bowl with some rice, meat, cheese, sour cream, lettuce, and salsa. And I just stack mine up like that and that's the way I like to eat it. And it's super good and delicious. It also makes really good leftovers for the next day. Thanks so much for watching.